All right, this looks like the big showdown with Sundowner. Come in, at me, In bro. a monsoon. Eh, it's still raining from before. It should be like a big dusty wind environment. It should. Everything really should be on fire. Yeah. And Jetstream, you should fight him on the ocean. Jetstream, you should fight him over the ocean on a big jet. What happens in three hours? Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be so cool. It'd be, didn't that happen in Bayonetta? You're too <laughs> on a jet? Yeah, you you're fighting on a jet or on a big plane over the ocean. Big plane, yeah. He's gonna take some time. Oh, so that's why you wear that big dumb coat everywhere. Because you got big dumb stuff on you. Oh, and you got a helicopter too. I got a helicopter too. Two oh, helicopters oh. even. Alright, Sundowner. He's got the Desperado logo on these stupid solar panels. I do like his double machetes though. I don't got a machete. I got a double machete. I do also like his big snake face. You know what he looks like? He looks like he got kicked out of the Crisis Nano Suit program. Like his armor looks fucking exactly the same. And they keep beefing up all the Crisis guys every game. The Crisis art style is so terrible. Did you know terrible. that it's a misunderstood masterpiece and no one's? I did know that. I did actually know that. Or, or it's maybe it's just a big dumb game where you shoot guns. You shoot guns at pretty things. Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. I gotta not cut the heat shield. It's like Mistral. Alright, come on. Couldn't cut any part of her not blue staff. Okay. Uh, you can't break the shield that you broke already. I'll break it. Break your shit, Sundowner. You're gonna break stuff. Oh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. The flaws you're in not, his design. You're not doing really good there, Sundowner. The flaws in his design seem readily apparent. It seems a little too easy to do this, man. I'm just saying. I mean. <laughs> He's got two little shields left. Oh. Oh. Now what do you got? He's probably gonna morph into the helicopter. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, no. He, he just gets angry. Oh, right. He's oh, got this he stupid looking thing. thing. Okay, well, he's way tougher now. He's actually attacking me. <laughs> Come on. His music isn't as good as the other guys. No, but he's like from Arkansas, so like, what are you supposed to have? He's from California. No, he's from Arkansas. Yeah. Like, it's not a codex. No. But, uh, yeah, what are you supposed to have? Like, punk rock music for him? Yes. No, because- Oh, shit! Oh, man. Because he's like, I'm a good old boy. Yeah. yeah. Good old boy should still have punk rock. No, power. no. He should have, like, Kenny Loggins or something. Kenny Loggins should be in this game. <laughs> yes. That was really easy. Uh, yeah, but he, he's gonna pop up. But I didn't have my cool climax action moment where I cut his shit. He's gonna pop up and grab your balls. Yeah. And my balls are a giant helicopter. <laughs> yeah, all of mine. They're getting bigger over time. Soon they'll be able to fly. <laughs> They're intelligent. Right. Okay. Good job. I'm doing... This is part of my plan. I planned this. I allowed myself to get shot to hell. Good thing there's this fucking slider here. Seems to be a lot of them outside this building. <laughs> All right. Are you serious? I. Yeah, why not? Platinum, do you have to put this level in every single one every of your game games? Is space every area. single game. Every game is space area. Every game is 3D World Runner. Yeah. Fuck it. Where's the Mo uh, Wonder Boy in Monster World reference we're all waiting for? The Alex Kidd reference. Jeez. Man, this is like burnout levels of speed. I can barely see oh. shit. What? Well, I'm cutting the roof? I guess. Or the basement? I really forget our orientation right now. Yep, cutting the roof. If you're just joining us, we don't know what's going on. What? Missiles! <laughs> ah! Christ! Christ almighty! Oh, oh shit! I wish the helicopter didn't explode me this direction. Oh, six pound, three ounce baby Jesus! He's cut me up. 
Man, I cut him up real good. Oh, this head is just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he shouldn't have flown at me like that. Fist asshole. pump. Fist pump. Fist bump to no one. Hey, hey, hey. Ryan, you did it. Good job. Good job. Oh, it's, yeah. At the very least, he's like, wow, sick. To Kimse? To Kimse. To Kimse. Who? Armstrong. Armstrong. Oh, yeah, the senator. What senator? The senator that we saw in the thing with, um. Oh, jeez. With right. Sundowner in the lab. Yeah. You know, the guy who's the, the money bags? Money bag. He's like, I need you to murder all these kids for. Uh... Hey, I've got this thing in my bank account. It's called the Philosopher or something. You can use it. I don't know what it is, really. <laughs> it just happened there. I inherited it from my cousin, Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> I, I inherited it from my cousin, the Nigerian Prince Revolver Ocelot. Right here. I've taken Marshall HQ. I yes. I yes, literally that's right, Mr. Mr. President. I, I'm under my, my triple undercover as a Nigerian prince. Yes. Anything yes, everything's going to go into plan. Anything that'll rival 9-11 will not I don't be like good. the idea of 9-11 having a rival. <laughs> right? Ooh, 9-11! I'll be I'll be better than you one day once I train with Ryu's Chinese ghost army. Wow, that is a leap. It's quite a leap. That is, that's bordering on on Dadaism right there. Dadaism? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. You know what that is? Is that like nihilism? Uh, you really don't know. You know what no. that is. No. Dadaism is basically the art movement of doing everything for no reason and being random as all can be. That sounds like nihilism. Well, <laughs> that sounds. Oh, is that that Jackson Pollock garbage? No, no, Jackson Pollock is like mainstream as hell <laughs> compared to fucking Dadaism. Are they Dadaists? Who are, who is this? Do they play a lot of Dota? <laughs> Who is this Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Are they Dadaists? <laughs> so we gotta go Every to time I hear Marky Mark, I just cannot laugh. Hey, say hi to your moms for me. Uh, so we gotta go to Pakistan in under an hour. There's gonna be an international incident, and Pakistan's gonna be really mad about it. We weren't paying attention, you guys. I was reading the subtitles while I was laughing at Marky Mark. Oh. <laughs> what rank did I get? Ooh. A desperado. Bloodlust. Right? Bloodlust, please. Thank so you. So we have an étranger, dystopia, and bloodlust. Blood lust. These guys are real cheerful folks. You just joining us. We're talking about Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. And Dota, apparently. I Dota guess. as a way of life. Did you guys know the Dota? Do you know that Mike Ross even plays? I heard that Mike Ross even plays. That Mike Ross even... I didn't do that good. That's <laughs> alright. I'm gonna buy these pincer blades. pincer blades. I have a feeling I'm gonna like these a lot more than the other things. Namely because they're big and slow. <laughs> I like big and slow things. Turbulence. Downburst. Down I'll get that later. I'll get it later. Well, you'll have to because you don't have enough. I'll get, get it, it later. Fine. I'll get it later. You got it later. It's fine. Here we go, up in the aeroplane. We put all the brains in a bucket. <laughs> we had a big bucket. Make sure to put it in the blue bucket Excellent. so it doesn't get confused with the orange bucket you'll all be using later. <laughs> God, I swear to God. What? I had, like, the reason I keep mentioning orange bucket is when I had a kid, you know, every time you get a stomach flu, you have a bucket that you use, and mine was orange. And I remember if I felt sick and my mom took the bucket out to get ready, I would feel way more sick. Because I knew. Because I knew! It's the worst. You have a deep connection to that orange Everyone, bucket. Everyone, I don't know where that orange bucket is. Probably I like to think my parents still have it somewhere in the house. They buried it. 
They buried it alongside my last vomit. The last vomit I ever had in my childhood home. Very right alongside Willie's old doll. Speaking of, speaking of hating animals, destroyed old dolls and burying. <laughs> My dad used to troll us so hard because he doesn't give a shit about things. My mom had a bird, right? And she loved this bird. It was some stupid fucking parakeet. No one liked it. My mom loved it. Right. And it died. And she woke up one morning and it was just dead in its little cage. As birds are known to do. So my dad tells her, I'm gonna put it in a box and I'm gonna go bury it when you're not home. She says, thank you, fine. So like four days later, she goes to take out the trash and the bird's just sitting on top of the fucking trash bag! Right on top of like some oranges or something. And she fucking flipped her shit. The fucking stupidest thing! And that's how Pat <sighs> came from a broken home. Oh, that it's point. fine. It's fine. Yeah, well, so we gotta destroy a bunch of drone planes now. Okay. Pat doing a good job. Okay. That was lucky. Oh, it's like we really need to get a stealth reference in here. Wait. Remember the movie Stealth? No, no fuck you. <laughs> what? Stealth. That movie's not real. You made it up. Right. Why does the sword carry your AI powers into everything? This is the first it's ever that's ever been mentioned. He's been doing it to the sliders over and over. He just did it to a slider. God, these goddamn Harriers are always shooting down your helicopters. Good job, idiot. You took down a Harrier by the Is this gonna be our Contra Shattered Soldier moment? Do you mean the moment where we all stopped caring about Contra? No. Yeah, this is Contra Shattered Soldier. In the intro, the guy does that exact same thing. Right. But I think it's a missile. Which is a lot less impressive. Look at our hero Raiden in his big hero moment. You know, the guy who just professed to loving murder? Yeah. And, and he loves it. And damn the consequences that murder, like, you know... I it, I have to murder for the kids. It's all for the kids. Yeah, you gotta do it for the kids. You need work. Raiden would be a person who would agree with ODB and the Wu-Tang is for the children. You know, uh, Raiden uh, ain't nothing to fuck with. Man, I'm getting my chin scraped a lot in this game. A lot. It seems like the only area like you actually Gundam get Like Gundam levels of chin scraping. Because what's more of a close shave than getting hit on the chin? Well, that's a pretty close shave. <laughs> Why? I guess he weighs like 800 pounds. So I guess he weighs a lot. Whoops. <laughs> hey, how come if I fell off of one of the buildings that are kilometers below me, I instantly die? But if I could fall out of the sky in a cutscene like this... Nah, no, it's fine. Fucking whatever. It's fine. It's probably fine. It's game logic. No sacrifice That's awesome. But I, I have to take all these brains. And dump them next to big to, to the boss's grave. I need to grave. put them in a big brain jar next to the boss's grave. These are the heroes that saved the world. <laughs> so what the fuck oh, is that? Oh, it's just a big crater! I'm glad to see that you are all right. I'm glad to see you're all right, Ryder. No scratches. On your beautiful, okay, let's beautiful try out this, this 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 blood loss. That is slow, really slow and powerful, and you can charge it. Oh, that's pretty good. But you can't do sick combos. Says you. Not with that. Not with the pincers. I'm gonna do a sick combo right now. Right now. Oh, you have sick invincibility during that. Oh, fuck me. Well, look how much invincibility you get during He's that. You got bloodlust. Didn't Sundowner have that? Wasn't no. that guy a huge dick? He couldn't have killed Sundowner. That guy's weird. No one could kill Sundowner. He's basically the cyborg teabag. Wait, what? That, that guy from Prison Break. That, that Sundowner like you are, mama. With his blood lost. Oh shit! That thing's pretty good! 
All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> that was unnecessary, but Are whatever. Right? No, I'm not all right. You just I can handle this. This beautiful body. Man, the line. Get those do. brains out of here. Get those brains out of here! We don't want these brains. These brains are too sick. These child brains are down with the cyborg devil. Cyborg devil! You're right outside where you started. Yeah. Holy hell! You flew away like five miles. There was loop to loops. They did loop to loops. Why would the doctor do loop to loops? When they did all, sick because they were avoiding getting shot down. When he had all the succulent brain cargo. You need to get that out they of there. They were avoiding getting shot down. I thought the World Marshal logo was a big Ninja Turtle. Well, look, go look at it. One could only hope. Go look at it. Look, it looks like a Ninja Turtle at first. I can see like, that. Oh, I'm not okay, now it's like a big globe. I'm gonna switch off Pinsir until Imagine I get all World the moves. Imagine World Marshal just like like its entire product line was just little baby turtles. Yeah. And they never got bigger. There was always baby turtles. Always baby turtles. That'd be awesome. I'd be oh shit. It's fine. It's fine. Can you ninja? Yeah. Yes, I can. Ninja. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Hey, Calabunga ninja man. I can't believe George drops it to the. I'm like. This is now like a full week later after we've seen that. Cannot believe he drops a fucking It'd vanilla ice. It'd be more obscure reference. if he dropped like a uh, an obscure MC Hammer thing, and I mean like, "Hey Hammer, don't hurt him." I mean like, uh, uh, how obscure we're talking? Like he's just wearing parachute pants. <laughs> Maybe. Like he doesn't even say anything. He's just wearing them. Like, like, let's say you're fighting one of the big hammer guys, and George just runs in, and he's like, Hey, Ninja Man, it's Hammer Time! And you're like, what are you even doing? Why does Hammer Time exist? It's 2020. This right? isn't why I killed the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, I tried to destroy those memes. I did a... This is the Patriots of this long-standing plan. Fuck oh. you, school bus. This Patriots had this long-standing plan to, like... Keep MC Hammer down. <laughs> they canceled his reality show. They, they, he knew too much. He knew more than any one man could ever <laughs> contain. know about Zero's plan to unite the world. Unite the world under the Hammer Dance. All wars like would MC, stop. Like, MC Hammer's just fighting these AIs, right? And he's, like, infiltrating, like, like all these places. No, the idea is that. that the hammer dance, when performed, is so stupid that the idea of having wars is just dumb. Because you can't, you can't get over it. You're like, they, they, they instituted the war economy to fight the influence Hammer was having on the underground. One... Oh, oh no! Oh, I don't know. It's fine though. Oh, the other guy just exploded. He's dead. But he still dropped his goo for me. You need to drop his goo. Man, I love that Celebrate move. It's pretty useless. Good times. Come on. Hey, you can't use more than five seconds of that. No, what is it? Twenty seconds? I thought it was ten seconds. Uh, no, but, shut up! Don't play it. You don't have to pay for the rest of the song. Don't sing happy birthday. That's all you need to know. Kids, if you want to get into the broadcast business, fucking don't sing happy birthday. If you sing happy birthday, you're fucking doomed. <laughs> it's like uh what was it? The recent giant bomb cast. Like uh uh what's it? Brad just starts playing a Guns N' Roses song on his phone. And Ryan Davis is like, you can't play that. We don't have the rights for that. So I guess you better finish this podcast then. <laughs> and so he just rushes through the finish. Okay, okay. all right. Well, uh, that's it for this week, everyone. Bye. Tune in next week while we talk about home ownership and mowing the lawn and other weird things that have nothing to do with video games. But you're going to listen anyway. You sick, you sick freak. You sick fuck. You love listening to hear about Vinny just fucking take care of his lawn, don't you? Holy shit, is it just the way we came? Yeah, it's the, we just left. Oh my god, look at, look at the fucking Fort Marshall building! Oh wait, I didn't get a good look at it. I'll, once I kill all these dudes... It's not great. I don't imagine. Where? 
up, up, straight up. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ooh! Oh, you can, you can build Maverick for that. Ooh! I didn't do a good... Ooh! <laughs> No good, wonder you decided good, to do good, good thing Wolf told me I didn't have to worry about collateral damage. Yeah, everyone got evacuated in 10 minutes. No you know who should have been worried about collateral damage? Who? Schwarzenegger. I was gonna say. When he was making that terrible movie, Collateral Damage. Collateral Damage is fine. The best part of that movie is that he kills John Leguizamo. He doesn't. Yeah, he does. He does not. He gets killed by the bad guy. Oh, well, whatever. Dude, it, I've watched Collateral Damage quite a few times. Why? I told you the best part of collateral damage is when he picks up a woman by her belt and throws her into an electrical conduit box. Isn't that right at the end? Yeah. Ooh, let's try a ripper mode. It's probably OP. Yeah, it looks OP to me. <laughs> it looks pretty OP, you guys. But it runs out. Pretty fast. Pretty fast. Hood, get in front of you. No. I'll never deal with a raptor like that. Clever girl. She's so clever. Reminds me of an idea I once had for a Jurassic Park TV show called Clever Girl. And it was a talk show with raptors. No, fuck you. I thought you were going to say it was a comedy called Clever Girl. And it's about a guy that lives in an apartment with a raptor. That's way better. Because <laughs> I was just thinking like Maury, but with dinosaurs. I just imagine some guy watching TV and he looks down and all his guts are ripped out. And he looks, clever girl! And the raptor's like, oh, oh. It's like Three's <laughs> Company, but with bites. <laughs> oh, just kill me now. That joke is terrible. It's like Three's Company, but with a lot more of animals learning to open doors. Oh, come on! Oh, That's I'm bullshit! And that grad is shooting at me even though he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Let's start shooting! Ah, uh, the civilian died. There's a civilian? Right there. Oh, I didn't even notice. Whoops. He lived the way he died. Jeez! I mean, he died the way he lived. Screaming in agony. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. While his cyborg hero did nothing. Stood by and let it happen. Yay! Lucky. Lucky. I swear Would to you God. like to play Lucky? I, I forgot what anime I was watching, but the first time I saw a guy go, Lucky! I knew I was in love. <laughs> With that phrase. I, I knew from then on. I oh, could never go a, back. It's such a dumb phrase, and I love it. It's so fucking stupid. Good bad, man, Roselle. Oh. <laughs> Good bad, It's like... He's not even trying, but he is. So it's Thanks awesome. So hard. Oh man, that guy's the greatest. That guy should voice all. Oh, by the way, we're talking about the guy who's voicing Dio in the new JoJo yes. anime. That guy should voice every villain, and he's starting to. There's a bunch of shit that he. He just. Oops. Hey, there he is. Goodbye, Princess Mononoke. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar. Give everyone Oscars. Goodbye, Grave of the Fireflies! <laughs> I, w I wish... You know That's what? Horrible. If anyone wants, like, the utmost proof that Wooly is the most diseased cunt what? in all the universe... What? 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 Shut if up. Any I don't, Graveyard I don't remember of the Fireflies this. is, like, the saddest movie ever. Yes. And there is a core plot device, which is a candy can yeah, yeah. with a single candy in it. Mm. Which rattles around and it reminds you of really sad stuff. He imported the candy can from Japan, then ate all the candies but one. So that it would rattle around, and then every time Graveyard of the Fireflies would come up, he'd reach over and grab it and rattle it in your fucking face. So that you would get bummed out and depressed. Okay, I never heard of this before. That's fucked up. He used to do but it all the time. I, I still think it's weird that I don't think he has any more, but in his old apartment, he's like, look at this rad poster I have of Grave of the Fireflies. Yeah, you know what? It was what? it was the first thing you would see coming into his house. And I'm like, who does that? It's like, why don't you walk, look at this fucking sick frame poster of God of Schindler's List. Look at it. It's got a frame. Like, what? Are for I'm trying to things. think of something more tragic than either of those. 
Look at this awesome frame posting episode of a Serbian film. Look, look at the. <laughs> Whoa. Look, like, look at this TV I have placed in front of my door that just plays the notebook nonstop. Jeez. <laughs> Nah, Serbian film is, is the most fucked up thing. Serbian film and the notebook, probably pretty much the same movie. Yeah, yeah, their, exactly. Their scripts were developed in tandem. <laughs> there was a lot of scenes of, uh, what's his name? Man, are we even playing Metal Gear anymore? <laughs> well, you're so good at it now. <laughs> no. Um, there's that scene of, you know, the actor Ryan whatever in the notebook. I don't know. Uh, uh, young Hercules. I never saw the notebook. I know, but the guy that's in Drive, the guy that's in Gangster Squad, I can't, I got it. Ryan Seacrest? No, Gosling. yeah, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Gosling, whatever. There you go. Uh, the ladies like that guy, so I hear. Remember that scene in the notebook where he just started fucking those girls' eyeballs out? Just like in the Serbian film? Hey, this should be a pro tip to not watch Serbian film. Hey, uh, so Willie should probably watch any of these great movies. I'll uh, let the right one in. Jesus! When did this happen? <laughs> I just got the VR thing and there's all these dudes. Should Willie watch all these great movies? Willie, like, uh, 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 let the right one in or this or that? He's like, nah, not gonna watch any of those. And some British dude that he knows tells him to watch a Serbian film, and he downloads it that night. He's like, that's the most fucked up movie. I'm traumatized for life. Like, it's a good thing you don't listen to sane people then, right? He's like, whatever. That was the most fucked up thing I've ever heard of. Like, <laughs> you did not do any research on this movie before you just trusted this guy. You did no, more than that, he trusted Serbia to give him a movie that wouldn't fucking destroy his life. <laughs> Don't trust Serbia to give you movies that aren't like, like life-shattering horribleness. It's like I like how all this of this playthrough gives you a good general overview of Wooly's life that you don't get in other videos like no, no, Metroid no. or Brawls or whatever. Well, it's because I'm cutting all these dudes, and what can I say? They're tough, and it's fucking radical to fight them. Now you cut off their shit like that, and then they still do drop kicks. Love watermelons. I, I'm busy, okay? I'm busy here. You totally stop fighting and start slashing some watermelons. I am busy! Oh god. You know what? This is a this is a bit of a small detail, but I oh. really I really like god. that you wall bounce when enemies hit you hard enough. Mm. Like it's it's it is a small detail. Like they didn't need to put that in there. You know what that reminds me of, oddly enough, is like in Ninja Turtles, the arcade games. When you get hit really hard, you'd smack into a wall and slide down it. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about, Matt. That's what I'm talking but about. But that's the kind of thing we should expect from the next-gen video games. The stuff that was in NES video games? Yes. Did I do it? No damage. Hey, I didn't die. But I had all those nano pastes. Can I cut these watermelons? Yeah, maybe a cat pops out. That'd be fucking sick. <laughs> no. What if I cut all the watermelons? That's... You get some sort of sick cook-off bonus. You know, in Grenada, we cut watermelons with these high-frequency blades all the time. What is this? It's just BP. Boo! Wanted... I expected more. You wanted endurance. Man, I'm at 0.8% health. <laughs> You're fine. But it's fine! You did it. Well, that was fun. I guess I fucked up Denver pretty hard, eh? How do you like it, Boris? How do you like it? How do you like it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, stop it. I, got, I stopped. Stop it. Why won't it stop? It's continuing in my mind. I'm a steel does motorcycle. How does he gonna steal it? No. He probably just takes his USB dick and sticks it inside. God, that reminds me of some horrible fan <laughs> some horrible thing. fan fiction clip. Shut up. I recently it's like I need what if bike. your motorcycle had a vagina? That's weird. Stop. And it's like, Jimmy, why do you zip up every time you get off that motorcycle? Is that fucking thing has a pussy? And he's like, ha ha ha! That's a good one! Looks around nervously. Sweats. It's like, man, what? 
What, like, what is up with my life that everything's going well, but this is what I'm reading at 3 a.m. because I'm bored? I'm just reading God. Okay, at least you're reading that, and you're not like Wooly watches a Serbian film I mean, every night. Would you let it go? You've been harping on it for that for like two years. No. No. You're just joining us. We're talking about a Serbian film. Don't fuck me. And pussy motorcycles. Don't, don't have your pussy motorcycles fuck your baby eyeballs. Okay. Okay.